What's up guys, time to support another Halloween fan film. This one is uh, gonna be headed by Steven Wolf. He sent me this uh, trailer he wanted me to react to. And what's interesting about this one is that Vincent DeSante, who was Jason and the director of Never Hike Alone, and who's gonna be Michael Myers in the Spirit of Haddonfield short that's coming up, he's actually gonna be Myers in this film too. But this looks like a pretty ambitious project. It's, they're planning on shooting this fall. So there's an Indigo campaign for it. I'll put the information below in the info box. But uh, yeah, I'm, I know nothing about this film. Uh, there is a plot synopsis, but I, I kind of want to go in knowing nothing and then I'll read about it after. Now this is called Halloween, The Face of Michael Myers. Teaser trailer. Okay, so I did read a little bit of the plot synopsis. This does take place 40 years after the original. So just to give you uh, you know, um, a frame of reference. It was Michael. He told me to do it. Billy. Michael Myers has been dead for 30 years. Nobody believed Loomis. Loomis's assertions were sensationalism. Michael is still here. With us. Even now. And me? I dig that. Andy. Yeah. Cool. That was a, an interesting little teaser. One thing I like about this is it deals with that whole, I guess, how Myers can have an effect on a whole community, which is kind of what originally John Carpenter wanted to do with Halloween 4 before he lost uh, you know, all control over any part of the franchise. So I like that this one kind of deals with that. Like what is the fallout of a community after? And there's always that... Um, worry in the back of the mind of is he alive or is he not and Loomis doesn't help that at all because Loomis is constantly thinking that he might be alive you know Loomis is you know just as crazy if not more crazy than Myers is actually so I like that this movie seems to deal with that now reading the plot synopsis here it's stating that there are a set of murders that happen in this town and this guy's claiming that Myers actually entered his own body which is a, a unique take on that and kind of adds to what I was saying about that whole uh, psychological aspect, you know, and what happens with the town, you know, and what that fallout could be. And plus, where Myers is concerned, he is more of just like a shape, you know, I guess that's why they call him the shape. He, he could be physical, he could be an apparition. That's what's great about Halloween. It's never really stated 100% what he is, at least in those first couple movies. So I'm actually looking forward to this. Be sure to support this, guys. Support independent films, support fan films, because there's so many stories that can be told out there, you know? So we don't have to confine ourselves to the, the core franchises. We can actually use our imaginations and either support these fan films or create them ourselves. How cool is that? I was actually discussing the idea of doing a sequel to Season of the Witch with my wife last month. So. Where there's a will, there's a way, I guess. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this trailer? Let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks. Become a member where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free for Fridays. Follow me at Dum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and now Stardust. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and Drum Dum out.